I had a popular commentator four weeks ago that I talked to that told me flat out before they knew any of the contents of the bill, any of the contents, none of, nothing was out at that point, that told me flat out, if you try to move a bill that solves the border crisis during this presidential year, I will do whatever I can to destroy you because I do not want you to solve this during the presidential election. That was Oklahoma's right-wing Republican Senator James Langford on the Senate floor today describing the rage he has faced from Trump fanatics because he actually tried to fix a problem that Donald Trump says is killing 300,000 Americans a year, which, of course, is a typical Trump lie about the dangers of our southern border. The other thing that Republicans have proved is a lie is the idea that Republicans want to fix the border problems. They negotiated a bipartisan Senate bill that strengthens security at the southern border and is endorsed by the Border Patrol Union. And then Donald Trump ordered Republicans not to vote for the bill they had negotiated because Donald Trump doesn't want the southern border to be fixed on Joe Biden's watch. Our next guest, Senator John Tester, said it is shameful that politicians in Washington have once again chosen to play politics with our border and put our national security at risk. Senator Tester is running for re-election in Montana, where a new Republican candidate is entering the race, Congressman Matt Rosendale, who joined the Republican chorus in the House of Representatives saying that they would vote against the Senate bill securing the border if it passed the Senate and came to the House. Every Republican who has announced opposition to the Senate bill has revealed that they have never for a single day of their lives been serious about their exaggerated threats of danger at the southern border or their promises to fix it. It was all a lie. John Tester beat Matt Rosendale for that Senate seat once before in 2018. Joining us now is Montana's, Montana's senior senator, John Tester, Democrat running for re-election in the United States Senate. Uh, Senator, I saw that email uh, you sent out today. Um, I'm sick of this BS. Uh, looked pretty angry. Um, I can't imagine what it is like to be in that chamber on a day like today uh, when a negotiated piece of legislation to secure the southern border is, is in effect blocked by Republicans who were part of the negotiation. I've never seen anything like it. Just never look, seen it. Look, Lawrence, uh, you, you covered it very, very well. Uh, people people sent, sent me here from Montana to actually fix problems, not to play politics. It's the last thing they want. Uh, we got Republicans, we got Democrats, but the fact is we're all Americans. And when I go back home to Montana, I hear from everybody, from families to sheriffs to uh, Border Patrol folks, that we need to fix this border. We need to know who's coming across the border. So the negotiations went on for four months. It was a price to get the, the dollars for Ukraine and uh, came up with a deal. And look, it wasn't a deal that I written, but I think it's a pretty doggone good deal. I think the deal that Langford and Murphy and Cinema came up with uh, is pretty darn good. It, it, it puts more man, manpower on the border, net technology, changes the asylum rules. It's a, it's a good, thoughtful presentation. And we've had folks running all over our state and running all over the country. Well, I've been down at the border. It's horrible. It's terrible. Well, let's fix it. We had an opportunity to fix it today. And, and the same folks, the same folks who are talking about how, what a horrible situation is on the border, and I agree, we need to fix it, voted against fixing it. Why? Because they want it as a campaign issue. And when this town becomes more about Democrats and Republicans than it does about the American people. It just shows you how badly broken Congress is. And, and I will tell you, it is unbelievably ridiculous what transpired today, where uh, James Langford was hung out to dry by his own party. They told him to go out and fix this. He did it, worked in good faith, along with Murphy and Cinema, in good faith, came up with a deal, and they pulled the rug out from under him. It's ridiculous. We had a chance to fix this problem. Uh, we saw it in 2013 with a border bill that failed because they pulled the rug out from underneath it. Again in 2018 and now in 2024. Uh, this isn't about fixing the problems in this country by some that serve in the Senate. It's about making sure they got issues out there that they can run on 
and, and show everything that's dysfunctional about this country. The fact is, I hope the American people understand what's transpired today. What transpired today is political malpractice. These folks could have fixed a problem and they chose not to because they want to keep it as a political issue. Uh, you, you are a border state. You're a northern border state. Uh, do people in your state feel threatened by the southern border or is it their sense of a national purpose that they don't feel specifically threatened by it, but, that, but it needs to be solved as a national issue? Look, I think it's both. I think I think they 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 want to know who's coming across that border. I think it's incumbent on our national security to know who's coming across that border. The only way you do that is make the investment in manpower and technology. That's why the border patrol folks are in favor of this. They understand we need more manpower on that southern border. You combine that with the asylum and it solves the problem and Montanans would say thank you. Thank you for solving this problem. But this very same people who have been down on the southern border saying this is a catastrophe, now say, no, we don't want to fix it. And and it's just, I got to tell you, it's the, uh, the epitome of craziness. And, and we ought to, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. How do, how do you fix this place? It's badly broken, and uh, the American people shouldn't put up with it. The, and the members of the House who opposed it were opposing it before they knew a word <laughs> that was in the bill. 100 percent correct. You know, it's, it's a little over 300 pages. It's not a hard read but a person ought to read it. And, and in that vein, Lawrence, I will tell you, we, we ought to, at a bare minimum, taken this bill to the floor and debated it, had the opportunity to, to, to debate the bill and make changes on the bill, but that wasn't even acceptable. And so, so you're right. I mean, folks are talking about 5,000 people coming across the border. That's hogwash. That's not in the bill. That is hogwash. They're, they're talking about the fact that Biden can do all these things without the bill. That's hogwash, too. The truth is, is we need this bill in this country so that we can secure our border and we should have passed it or we should at least got on it to debate it today. Senator John Tester, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Appreciate the opportunity, Lawrence. Thank you. Thank you.